And here is Teddy Mother Roosevelt. <laughs> Pretty good cooking. Pretty good. If you've come across this video, it means that you somehow probably entered the search phrase how do I boil eggs or how to make hard boiled eggs. And if you have gotten to this point in your life without learning that, well, that's okay. I'll teach you how to do it. This is an experimental video for us in that it is in 24 FPS. We typically film in 60 FPS. I don't know really much about anything like that, but John the cameraman said, hey, Let's try it out and maybe see what the fans like, or the strangers, or the haters. So if you're any of those categories, please provide us feedback on how this video looks. It's really not my area of expertise. I'm just here to boil some eggs. What you need is some eggs, and also a pot of water. I'm going to place the eggs into the pot one by one. Typically I like to do this by uh, placing them in a row, and by a row I mean a circle, around the outside of the pot, but it really doesn't matter too much. If you just throw all the eggs in the pot, they're liable to break. Now, important step, save the cart. You're gonna need it. Take your eggs over to the sink, and stop pouring cold water over the eggs. You need about as much water as to just slightly cover the eggs. Now, you can see, got just a couple little guys sticking up just a little bit, by like the perfect amount. If you are unconfident, non-confident, unsure, or maybe just confused, you can put a little bit of vinegar into the water, and apparently that helps eggs not break, but other people say it gives them a little bit of a, a vinegar taste. I'm gonna just skip that step, because I know what the f I'm doing. Put a lid on. Turn on your stove, high heat is fine. We're gonna bring it up to a boil. We're gonna turn it off and we're gonna leave it alone for eight to 10 minutes. And that's how you boil eggs. And also I'm tired. How small are my eyes right now? Do you know I can see without opening my eyes? We'll be back when there's bubbles in the water. Do you know how, do you know, do you know boiling? You don't gotta feel bad, <laughs> but you should. All right, look at this, eggs boiling. There they are. Now, all you gotta do is turn it off. Turn it off. That's all it. That's it. Now listen, at this point, you have made hard boiled eggs. You don't gotta do anything else except wait. Eight to ten minutes. Let's use a kitchen timer. Just, just leave them alone. And then you'll have the hard boiled eggs. That's it. Be back in seven minutes and forty seconds. Been uh, eight minutes-ish, maybe a little longer. Looks like maybe one of my eggs cracked, but who cares? I don't, not me. But we're gonna drain these. You can either carefully drain them, at least get some of that water out of there. You can prepare an ice bath. Stop the cooking. An ice bath is made out of two ingredients. One of them is ice, the other's a bath. And using either a slotted spoon or a spaghetti spoon, actually, might work. Nope. Let's use some tongs instead. Using some tongs, transfer the eggs to the ice bath. This will cool them and prevent them from overcooking. One of the key signs of overcooked hard-boiled eggs is when they turn green or blue or any other kind of color that is not yellow. You don't want that. And I certainly could have put more ice in this. That would have been good. I could have used a bigger bowl. But I didn't do either of those things. And instead, I'm just overloading this bowl. And I'm gonna just put it under cold running water, and I think that'll be fine. I'll be back when they're cool. It'll be a while. Not that long though. This video is supposed to be short. All right, our eggs are, are pretty cool now. Cool eggs. Your teacher ever call you that? A cool egg? I hope not. That would be weird. You keep the container because you can store hard boiled eggs back in the same container. There they are. Close her on up. And save yourself some confusion later. With a pen or a marker. Hard. Boiled. So people know, these ain't no bitch eggs, they're hard. All right, let's just try to peel this bitch. I like to, uh, the fat, there's a pointy end and a fat end. I like to tap the fat end, and I use the side of my thumb to go around, because usually there's some space in the egg there, okay? And uh, once you're at this point, you can use a little water to loosen it, rinsing uh, over the top. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not. Sometimes it helps. In my process, again, I like to use the size of my the size of my thumb, the side of my thumb around as we go, flicking the egg into the sink. I think we have uh, 
made a pretty decent boiled egg here, and that it's not sticking. The uh, alcohol I have consumed is going straight to my head. Give it a final rinse, and let's do a cross section of that egg. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. To actually cut an egg properly, you have to cut it pretty uh, slowly, otherwise it'll blow up. And there you have a very nice boiled egg. You can actually see this might be a little bit underdone. To be co truly considered hard boiled, this would be in between medium and hard boiled in that there is almost, you see that darkness in the middle? That's almost medium. So maybe if we had let this go like 30 seconds longer, it'd be hard boiled. I don't know. But this, this looks f***ing good to me. I think that's gonna be a nice egg. Hard boiled eggs go great with salt. Look <laughs> at this big ass pinch of kosher salt. That's because my fingers are wet. Do a little once over. And uh, enjoy it. Cheers. You, you are now slightly more of an adult. Oh yeah. That's a nice fresh flavor. That's how you do it, folks. I'd probably still just buy the pre-boiled ones. <laughs>